just bent that into the shape for the head and the body. Oops. I'm going to take little strips of my white carded wool and just wrap around the head section first. And then just wrap the excess around the back of the head to build up this area a bit more. So I'm going to wrap a little bit more wool just around the top section and not too much around the nose because I want the nose to be thinner. So just like that. And then just needle felt that into place as well. And I like to look from the top view just to make sure it's evenly shaped or so. So we're going to position the neck area of our unicorn onto the back section, onto that felt section there, and then the other neck section we put on top. And then you can just use your felting needle to lightly attach around the back of the head and to felt the two neck sections together slightly, just for a temporary hold. And then, you can use a little bit of your same carded wool to just cover the neck area like this. So I'm using a fine felting needle, just a 38 gauge twisted needle. So a 38 gauge is a fine, finer needle. It's fine enough to go through the wool felt fabric. A thicker needle might not go through so easily. Carefully lift, turn, and then you can drag over to the other side of the neck and if needed just add a little bit more like to cover any gaps there just add a little bit more white carded wool on this side and so you don't have to use the cut sections for the neck you could just needle felt um, wrap around and needle felt wool but this just helps it I think to keep the neck area thinner than the head. Just reshape the nose a bit smaller. Okay. Now we're going to wrap our carded wool around the body and just carefully, we don't want to go up onto the neck, we just want to wrap around here and then around the bottom area and just build it up gradually so needle felt around the area needs to be built up a bit more for the bottom so I'm just going to wrap some more carded wool just a little bit around the bottom area only like so Oops. and then needle felt that into place Okay, so now I just like to make the bottom area just come up a little bit more so we have this dip in the back. So to do that, you just want to roll up a bit of your cardi wool and just place over the back like this and just needle felt it to shape it. So I've worked on that for about five minutes just to get this nice sort of shape to the horse's back and then I wasn't happy with this join here so I'm going to needle felt a little tiny bit of the white carded wool just over onto the bottom of the neck just to cover that join a little bit more. Okay so there's our little 
body. Okay, so for the legs, um, I'm using pre-felt here. Like so. And just roll that in between your fingers. And using some of my white carded wool, I'm going to build up the thigh area. So this can be a little bit fiddly, but if you need a felt on, and then just carefully roll like so. And then this just helps to build up the top of the leg. So now we make the other back leg. Again, just carefully needle felting onto the top of the thigh and rolling that up. Just to help shape. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just smooth over a little bit of washing up liquid water and I've put a couple of drops of lavender oil, essential oil in there as well just because then it makes the wool smell really nice um, and we just smooth that over the leg and we let those dry and while they're drying we'll make the front legs a pre-felt strip so I cut this, it was just around half an inch thick and then by the time you roll it, it creates the right sort of thickness for the legs. You may find it um, useful to needle felt and roll pre-felt. So we're going to cut that and the other leg as well. So we're just making the little ears from some carded wool needle up into shape. If you prefer you can cut the ears from white felt fabric and then you can just sew them on or needle felt the base of them on and again at the very tips of the ears you can just put some soapy um, water on or a little bit of PVA glue mixed in and then when that dries it will just stop the wool from fraying and then we just let those dry. Like this little unicorn here, the, I actually cut the ears from wool felt fabric and then just carefully felted around the base. Uh, so you can cut them from wool felt fabric if you prefer to do that. In in the tail, I'm going to blend together some white Corridale tops along with some beautiful uh, fiber here. This is called Firestar. So it's a nylon fiber and it's got a real nice shimmer to it. It looks quite magical. So it doesn't felt very well. So the best thing to do is to mix it with a fiber that does, such as Corydale tops or um, Merino tops. What I actually did was smooth over some P a little bit of PVA glue mixed with water as well for the hooves just to help keep them nice and stuck together and so they're not going to fray and now we can put our legs on so um, just position towards the back and then if you needle felt through the bend that will just help to keep it how you want it like so and then we can just needle felt that on can use a little bit more of your carded wool just over the join to help keep it in place and to create a nice smooth finish. Here we go. I want my other leg, um, I want my unicorn to be sort of laying down with the leg coming out like that at the back. So you may need to just adjust the position um, as needed to help get the look that you're going for. You can just have it positioned like that on that side as well, it's entirely up to you. So, I'm just needle felt that on. 
Now we're going to trim the hooves at a slight angle at the front, like so. So this is our front leg and we can just position how we want, so make sure our little unicorn can balance. So once you have your position, just take some of your carded wool and needle felt over the shoulder area to attach the leg. Go around and underneath as well. Now we trim the other hoof just at an angle and then attach so they're even. There we go. So if you find the legs a little bit too fiddly, you don't even have to, your unicorn doesn't even have to have the legs. Because we're going to make a grassy base, we can just have the body and the neck and the head and everything. And um, yeah, you can just be sitting in the grass and you wouldn't you wouldn't even see the legs. So that's, that's another option if you find the legs a little bit too uh, time consuming. I'm going to make the horn from pre-felt, the shape that I want. And then we just roll and then we're going to dip that in some of our PVA glue water mix and then shape it and we're just going to let that dry. Okay so we're going to attach the ears now and we've got our excess fibre at the bottom and you want to just needle felt basically the excess fibre straight down onto the top sides of the neck. Our ears are back behind where the head joins on. So if you can see that there, they just set back a bit. You don't want them too far forwards. And we position the other one on. So again, just needle felting the excess fiber onto the top of the neck. Once they're on, you can actually just cut to make them even, like this. Now we can just take some little bits of black wool for the eyes and we can just needle felt those in. any stray bits okay and I want to put a little bit of black in each nostril so oops tiny tiny bits And if you prefer to, you can just sew in some little French knots for the eyes using some black embroidery thread. Horn's horn is dry. Um, I've got some silver metallic thread and I'm going to tie a knot in the end and I'm going to wrap that around. I've also put a little bit of glue on the horn. This bit is a bit fiddly. Um, but you just want to carefully try and wrap that around few times and then I'm going to sew a knot at the top to anchor it on like so. Use your fingers to just help smooth and shape it again like that. Just gives a nice little sparkle to the horn. Trim the tip. You can just add a little bit of silver glitter glue to the um, to the horn to make it sparkle instead. It's a, bit, a little bit um, less fiddly doing that. I've got a couple of these little black crystals and I decided to just glue these onto the eye area just to give a little sparkle to our unicorn's eyes. So 
so we're going to work in sections and take our little bits for the main and you just want to lay over this way and then needle felt down the part in like so horizontally and now we're going to needle felt vertical up like this and this bit is going to go in between the ears and just around the side of the face so our ears are just poking up like this you just want to fold the mane over this way like so and give it a little trim so and then we want to needle felt the mane over like this so that it stays on this side of the neck how you want it with this bit coming between here like so and just keep shaping until you're happy with the style so I'm going to cut we just trim up into the hair feather it off this creates a nice natural look of the mane and I decided I wanted to add a little bit more um, hair just over this way to go this side of the face so we can just needle felt that on okay so now let's give our little unicorn its tail take a strip and then just position where you want it and we just needle felt that into place Straggly bits and just use your fingers to help shape to a bit of a point, like so. We just want to take some um, Mod Podge or PPA glue and we're just going to do a light coating all the way inside our glass bauble. And then we just sprinkle in some artificial snow. And if you shake, just, um, just to disperse it around. And then we just let that dry. So now let's make the base for our unicorn. A base using some green cardboard on some brown pre felt. So you could needle felt some of these curly locks for um, foliage into the base as well if you wanted to. Or you could needle felt um, if you've got any green knitting wool, you could needle felt that for some long grass. Then I'm going to add little dabs of fabric glue just around the edges and I'm just going to sprinkle on some more of my artificial snow. Just use a little bit of hot glue to glue the underside of my unicorn onto the grassy base and then you can just shape the tail around like so okay and then the last thing we're going to do is just pop our little unicorn in to the globe like so and 